welcome back, I'm Julianne, I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 20 of season 5 of The Vampire Diaries. This time the title of the episode is What Lies Beneath, and after this I only have two more episodes to go for uh, season 5, and I, I have been honest, it hasn't been my favorite season, but the last few episodes have been really good, and I'm really looking forward for episode for this couple of episodes. Uh, right now I'm gonna do trying to do some sort of binge uh, you might want to check out this description or be aware of my Twitter or the community tab on YouTube because I will post uh, a schedule or something you will know how is it that I'm at right now I am trying to work a schedule out during the weekend so you can so I can finish season five because I've been dragging this uh, along for way too long and I just I feel like you guys deserve more content for the uh, for the Vampire Diaries and for the originals as well. So yeah, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do it. I don't know. So check out the description or Patreon or the community tab or Twitter and I will post something there uh, with this schedule uh, on how I'm gonna deliver a lot of content for both YouTube and Patreon. So yeah, I'm excited to continue watching. I hope that you guys are excited as well. Uh, like I said, the last few episodes ended up being really good and for both for the originals and for the vampires there. So we're gonna see what this episode is going to be about. I'm excited, like I said, so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you still love the Vampire Diaries, uh, oh, the Vampire Diaries reaction videos. Uh, let me know, because I know I've been dragging this out for so long, but I hope you guys are still enjoying and I hope you guys continue supporting and all that. Uh, comment in the comment section down below your thoughts, no spoilers uh, about this episode. Uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and all those good things. And Without further ado, let's just begin with episode 20 of season 5 of The Vampire Diaries. No! Who did he sleep with? Is this so you? This is so wrong. Yeah. XR Plus. This is so wrong. There's a consent to this. No, it's not working because it's turning. Shit! Oh! I need help! Oh shit. Or Tyler. I feel bad for, for Tyler. You're about to get killed, girl. That's scary! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> they just don't go with it. <laughs> That's not helping. He's so childish. Been failing now for an hour. One. Why are you looking for him? Gee, I don't know, Stefan. Because that's his friend. No humanity. Would mean that he doesn't want to be found. So. uh... I think you know. Uh, a lot of you were pointing out that it was completely different. Uh, what happened with Damon and Lexi? Because. Damon actually planned that out. Stefan kind of was planning on killing him as well, on killing Ansa, but technically he didn't kill him. And I say technically because his hand was on Ansa's heart. Ansa was the one who pulled away, but he did have intentions of killing him. Uh, Stefan had intentions of killing him, but it's it's in the gray area. It's not like like at the last moment maybe. Uh, I mean, Stefan never pulled. Oh, the heart away. It was Enzo who did that. Uh, but still, I believe that what he's doing, what Stefan is doing, is not good for him to be lying to to Damon. Yes, Damon has lied a lot of times, and you know, payback's a bitch, and whatever you want to say. But that's not Stefan. You know, Stefan is no normally not someone who hides this type of thing. So, for his character, I think it's bad to keep this a secret from from. Damon. But meanwhile, you and I and our ex-girlfriend are going to go on a little secret trip. Well, right Sounds now, it's great. <laughs> right now, both of them are the Elena's is ex. Uh, what did you want me to say? Because Elena's is dead or because you killed him? Either. Both. Both? Yeah. Well, either way. Good news! Hey, Caroline, it's been a long time to hang him. You don't have to invite it in. <laughs> unpacking. We're unpacking. <laughs> Caroline's really uh, perceptive. Caroline knows that something's up. Also, wasn't Charlie and Stephen like, I'm not gonna like, and now, now it doesn't feel like that. So, 
This will almost kill me. Probably read your nice little bedtime story. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> is she is she jelly? Is she jealous, Caroline? At least help eliminate supernatural beings. I've had worse. <laughs> well, you cannot deny ever their connection. What is it? What is it, Caroline? Caroline, what is it? Do you have a spidey sense now? What the hell? For some reason, I thought that would feel better. <laughs> and so. I'm glad that he's still around, though. I mean, he can't cross over again. Ah. But if it's too hard for you to be here, then she's giving up. Oh shit! No, she's not. She's giving yes. you a way out. Oh, I don't know. If you want to, you can go. That's what she's trying to say. He's so beautiful. God fucking damn it! I'm gonna whip some sense into him and make him Aww. apologize in person. Okay. He's trying to do good. Lelina <laughs> is really good at lying. What? No, nothing. I just, uh, <laughs> I just remember that Steph asked me to help. You know they're hiding something. Ooh, Jeremy, y'all's. Y'all's Bonnie. The way. Where? And when this help? place goes, you are going with it. But isn't she like half halfway? I just need a few more days with him before it's. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, she interact with objects. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Things are changing. This place is falling apart. Wait, you can touch it too. Well, uh, that is an interesting development. Yeah. You can interact with things. Is gonna write him a message? Hey, you broke killed me? Well, Meryl Streep, I'd love to go <laughs> and act out Watergate. <laughs> Mr. Lena, figure it out. Oh my okay. god, they just... She called them as Taylina? Oh my god. She's single now. You two are on the outs. Is, is, is... Can I read that as a Caroline being a little bit jelly? Like, jealous of the situation of it's Taylina? This is what we're doing. Oh, and there's no traveler knife again. Cause Marco melted. Okay, let's do this. Viet. Viet. Oh, Viet. Can okay, you do like um Viet or something like that? And you, Julian, are inside my best friend. Hey, That's hey, also hey. weird. Your own person. Uh. <laughs> oh. Yes. All right. Let's okay, go. Um, let's go. How beautiful Mina is. She is. I'm not blind. Is he gonna drown her or something? <laughs> Shit! <gasps> oh my god! And so. Tell him. 
Oh shit, okay. Oh my god. I killed him. Technically. <sighs> Not really. So, my powers of deduction really suck? No, you knew that there was something going on. I didn't on. say anything. So you didn't know either? Nope. No, you didn't. That's I why. Their secret really was. I mentioned that I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> so is it still, even though he died, he's still with his humanity off? The travelers find us. Shit. Uh, is it a little too late? What are they talking about? He knows. I found them. Shit. So the fact that you lied to me about it makes less sense. They didn't want any more people to know. Where did that even come from? Is he kind of jealous? I have no idea. <gasps> Shit! Well, are you over it? Yes. Good. Let's go find. Is that over it? Look, I am up for Caroline Stephen to, to be know honest. Why I like she's a stupid witch. This is a bad thing about Damon. He never deals with his emotions in a good way. He's always like, hey, it doesn't matter. Like, he, he believed it. His problems, his guilt, his sorrow, his everything about his emotions are not important. Not like Stefan, who does, you know, in a healthy way, he, he processes his emotions. If he feels guilty, he lets himself feel guilty and move past that. If he takes a step towards the right uh, path into get over that. Uh, Damon doesn't do that. He's like, okay, whatever. He just puts it behind his back and he doesn't deal with it. And that is why he, he always ends up with feeling like crap, because he must feel like crap for, for like, with all of this. Hiding, bowling with human heads, what do you think I was gonna do? Well, you have done it, me. so. Thought you would uh, hate me. Oh, Stefan. Smell that? Wait, gasoline? <gasps> Shit. Get out! Get out, you're just by the door! Shit. So you can either help me, or you can blink out of existence. True! You can come back. I'm guessing if he will come back, right? And Buddy will stay. Pretty sure that's a dove. <laughs> Oh, really cute, Nicole. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no! Jamie! Oh, she can't! What if she turns into a wolf? Uh, that's not Tyler anymore. Caroline. Never. We're friends, right? Yes. Tell each other things. Trust each other. Yes. Caroline, it's not because there are things that I tell you that I don't tell her. Like <laughs> what? Like you have dirt on your cheek. Oh, it is so cute. He's so cute. Look, maybe I I don't want you to think any less of me. Oh, she wouldn't. Oh my god, if these two kiss, I'm gonna die. I'll, uh, I'll meet you're you so over cute. by the car when you're. Aww. For you. Oh! These two fools, you need to kiss again! But you're still not. It drives me nuts. It sucks, yes, I know. Then get back to the house. I'm really confused. Perfect for each other. I'm sorry, but they are. Look at them. Look, she's out of breath. Because he loves you. Crappy day. Yeah, and you're the only nice. good thing. Oh. oh, no, no, come back. Fight for him. You two fight for her. Oh my god. Why are they always so tragic? I hate this. But it kind of makes me love them even more. Oh no, shit. To tell you, like, they can't have a second of happiness. They're there.
Okay guys, that was the end of episode 20 of season 5 of the Vampire Diaries. Things are escalating. And they didn't move that fast in this episode, but at least we get this uh, whole, you know, the, the people who are dead can act, interact with uh, objects and per people. Not really people because they can't see them. Uh, but they can interact with objects, which is going to complicate things for everyone, I'm guessing. Um, but it, it was a really good-ass episode. I, I mean, here's the thing. I feel like there's, there is such an easy way to fix or to at least try to move with Daylena. But I feel like they are just holding back and they don't want to do it. I just feel that. But because... They have problems, yes, and yes, it, it, they weren't wrong it, by keeping this a secret from Damon because Damon will have a spiral, will have done crazy things, and uh, it will have happened um, like everybody was thinking, but of course he's trying to hold it together and all that for Elena, and mostly because he doesn't want to keep proving to everyone that they are wrong for each other. And I don't believe that they, they are. I just believe that they're going through a rough patch and they can work things out if they really want it. Uh, the chemistry is still there. The love is still there. And, you know, now that we have moved past Staylena as a couple, I think that it just, it makes sense that they will do this. But, of course, they are dragging this along. Now, Caroline being a little bit jealous and not understanding why she is jealous or what is this feeling that she's having when she was like, oh, Elena and, and Stefan are always going to be together, always have their secrets, their, their things. And it's it's hard for someone that will come into Stefan's life to deal with that, especially if you knew them, uh, if you knew that they were right for each other. And especially since uh, Caroline always shipped Stay Lena, you know, uh, so it's it has to be hard. And also, I don't believe that Caroline understands, fully understands, and knows what really is going on with her and and Stefan. I don't think she has uh, figured out that she might start having feelings for him. But their scenes, Caroline and Stefan's scenes, are just so beautiful. And you know, it it you see Stefan and Elena having a friendship, a deep friendship and understanding of each other and all that but you don't see this flirty side that Caroline and Stefan have so I'm really looking forward for that I'm really hoping that they really do resolve or do something with them because I think that you know they are so similar in personality and have same moral compass in some aspects um, but I think they will be perfect for each other and you know you can tr throw a few curveballs into their way um, but I think it was just perfect I think uh, I, I just I I think they're perfect for each other I hope that they take the chance to make them happen eventually you know I can do with a slow burn it's okay I have deal with day lane I've been a slow burn for like four seasons I think uh, so it's okay I can wait uh, but I think that they should be together and then and then up together happily ever after um, yeah, well, they found the doppelgangers that want to, you know, get rid of the magic of the vampires. But that will affect everyone. Everyone. But I think that that wouldn't affect the werewolves, right? Because the werewolves are born like this. It's not magic. I think they will affect... Or is it? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. So, does that, doesn't that technically have something to do as well with the originals because they are vampires as well if the travelers set in on mystic fall they're going to undo the magic of the vampires and every vampire is going to die including the originals so we're going to see what that's going to be about uh right now i finished episode 520 i'm going to watch episode 121 of the original so i'm going to see what what what's gonna happen there you know uh, but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying my reaction videos I hope you guys continue supporting uh, this episode was really good like I said the Lena moment was perfect and so he's crazy uh, Bonnie I feel like she shouldn't like Jeremy but oh well she is and she's trying to protect him so I understand uh, but she should be honest with him you know um, and Tyler you know 
is Tyler gone? Like, now I feel bad for Tyler. <laughs> but no, not that much. But it's okay. Like, I feel like this episode was really bad for him, you know, starting the episode with someone kissing you when you didn't consent to that. So it's, it's really bad. Um, but yeah. I don't know if he's gone for good. Maybe not. Maybe we'll find a way to bring him back. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video. Hope you guys continue supporting. Uh, this episodes have been a lot better than the ones from the beginning and middle of the season. I think that this have been a little bit more strong, focusing on the one big bad, which is Marcos from the Travelers. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And, and I can't wait to continue watching. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all those good things. No spoilers. And that's about it. I will see you guys next time for another reaction video for the Vampire Diaries. Bye, guys.